Hi there, welcome to lesson three on getting a model from the internet into Planet Coaster. Okay, where we left off last time was, or I finished off rather, um, not on camera, posing Moana in the pose similar to, let's get the right shot, this pose. Now what we need to do is get ready to prepare the textures so that Theme Maker's Toolkit will actually recognise them. So in the file, for this one, there's actually only one texture file, which is actually really good. And it's in PNG format. Now sometimes they come in JPEG format, so you want to watch out for that. The first thing you're going to need to do is convert it into PNG. But we're also going to create a normal map and a roughness map. Um, and I'll talk you through why we do each of those. First thing I'm going to do is drag it into Photoshop, which I already have open. And I'm going to duplicate by doing Control J, Control J. I hasten to add, you don't have to use Photoshop, you can use GIMP or any other software that you have. Um, I just personally have been using Photoshop for the last 13, 14 years, so it's my preferred piece of software to use for editing images. Switch one of the layers off, oops not both of them, and then on the first one we're going to control shift U to desaturate it and this is going to be part of our, um, I can't get my words out, our normal map. Now with normal maps black pushes things backwards and white push, pulls things forward. So we know you can you can tell by looking at the face which areas are going to be brought forward, which are going to go back. So things like her lips, we probably want to make a bit lighter because we want them to come a bit more forward. And things like the eyeball, we don't want it that white, but also we don't want it that black. So we're going to have to redo something with the eyeball. So first of all, let's address the lips. So I'm going to zoom in my Control Plus. And I'm literally just going to use this to select. The top part of the lip. And then using Control L to bring up the levels window. I'm just going to bring down the blacks just until the lips are just a bit lighter than the skin. And that should do nicely. Control D to deselect. Now let's look at the eyeball. So what we want to do is, again, make a selection. And you can use anything. I mean, if it, sometimes I use the um, pen tool. Other times I'd use the magic wand tool. Just for this, it's not a neat shape, so I'm just very quickly grabbing it with the lasso tool. I'm going to create a new layer, and then in the color picker, I'm going to pick um, just this neutral grey to start off with, and I'm going to fill the whole of the eye with that neutral grey. Now. Getting the paintbrush, I'm going to create a new. I always tend to do it working layers just so that if I do make a mistake, it's easy to work out a, a, a solution to it. So, what I've done here is I've created a new layer and I've done a clipping mask so that it will only affect what I'm painting on. And to get the clipping mask, you literally hold Alt on the layer, and then as you come down, you'll see this thing. So, if you want to deselect, you can do the same. Okay, so with that layer selected, nice soft brush, I've got my white, and I'm just going to do that, just to lighten it. Um, I don't want to go too bright, because otherwise it ends, the eyeball ends up looking like a pyramid, and that's not what we want. So, Control Z, I'm just going to switch that off and check if there's anything else I want to address in... No. Okay, we've got 
a bracelet. Everything else then does kind of look okay. So what we're now going to do is I'm just going to merge all of those layers by doing Control E, and I'm going to bring up the levels one more time. And I'm in the top part in the histogram area. I'm just going to bring the whites into where it starts to show here, and the blacks in just so I get more of a contrast. Okay. Once you've done that, then you go at the top here to Filter, 3D, Generate Normal Map. Okay, and I tend to just move it to Cube View, just so I can see what I've got. And that eye looks okay. The lips are coming forward. Nice detailing in the skirt. Um, you can actually increase or decrease the strength here if you want to. Um, I think I'm just going to soften it slightly like that and then go OK. Right now we're going to save this out. So to save it, go to export rather than save as. Save for web legacy. And this way you're going to keep the file nice and low. I use PNG8 again because that keeps the file nice and low. Hit save. And then I'm not going to save its name. I'm actually going to start giving this the proper names that the Maker's Toolkit or the help panel recommends that you do. So for this one it's going to be material underscore zero zero underscore then the name of the character underscore and then NM in capital letters for normal. And that's it. So that's that one done. So I can shut that one off. Now on this one, this is going to be the roughness map. So these Desaturate by Control Shift U again, and I found that the easiest way to do this is to then do Control I to invert it, and that just makes all the lighters the darks lighter anyway. And then bringing up the levels again with this black on the output level, just crunch down, and basically how a roughness map works is this is the, con the amount of the shine so some of you notice that on some of the models they've got this very kind of like plasticky finish or bone china finish and that's because I don't have a roughness map added um, I am going to cover they've got multiple textures in them so I'm going to cover multiple textures in a more advanced thing but for now we're just going to stick with the simple basics so when you've got something nice and light and everything looks above mid-grey then you can go OK and then again we're going to export it save for web legacy save click on that one just to get the same name but instead of NM at the end we're going to put RN again in capital letters and that's it, we're done with Photoshop, so we can shut Photoshop down. Okay, going back into our folder view, we now want to make sure that this one has the same name but with a BC on the end. So I'm just going to grab this by copying and pasting, and then BC. So that's all our materials prepped and ready to go. Okay, so in your model, what you want to do is just bring this properties bit out a bit more. Select Moana or your model. Click on this circle one here, which is your materials, and it's by default it's got the original model material name. So we're going to name this the same as we've named the other ones. 
and it is case sensitive so material underscore zero zero underscore no no you don't need to do the final tail bit okay that is it for setting it all up you don't need to do anything else in the next video I'm gonna add some textures into this bit so that we can actually create an icon but then I'm going to remove it and you'll see why at a later stage but for now that's this lesson done join me in the next one where we'll create the icon